Our story begins here in the church administration building in Salt Lake City. Within this building was the office of church president Spencer W. Kimball. For years, President Kimball had looked out his office window at all the people passing by, contemplating and praying about how to carry the gospel to all the world. He knew the gospel was not just for the people who walked the streets of Salt Lake City. It was to go to every nation and kindred and tongue and people. President Kimball saw the hand of the Lord at work preparing for that long promised day. He said, the Lord has made it clear the time is at hand to go. In 1974, President Spencer W. Kimball called church member David M. Kennedy, an internationally respected U.S. statesman, to be a church ambassador to the world. Every time he'd go into the office, he'd talk about where to open up in the world. And President Kimball wanted to open up the world, and so Daddy would put his hand over Africa, and he'd say, but, you know, we can't, uh, we can't open up Africa because of the priesthood. So right after the revelation, before they announced it or anything, he walked by his office and he said, you can take your hands off Africa. When the revelation on the priesthood removed the hand of Brother Kennedy from the globe in President Kimball's office, the hand of the Lord himself came down to bless the people of Africa with the gospel. 